Why in the world are the billionaire Koch brothers considering buying the Tribune Company's eight regional newspapers, including the Los Angeles Times? According to the New York Times, Charles and David Koch want to shift the country towards a smaller government with fewer regulations and lower taxes. They have a three-pronged strategy, including educating grassroots activists, influencing politics, and buying media. If Koch Industries succeed in winning the bid, papers like the LA Times, which is the fourth largest paper in the country, and the Chicago Tribune, Tribune, the ninth largest, could potentially serve as a platform for the brothers' right-wing agenda. And you thought Fox News was bad? So could we be entering a new Citizen Kane era? Joining us to answer that question is syndicated columnist David Sirota. David joins us from Denver. Welcome back inside the war room, David. Thanks for having me. What, uh, what is it about the, con the Tribune company, David, that makes it so valuable to the Koch brothers? Well, you alluded to it. I mean, think about the way you put together your report, and this is not a criticism at all, but the report that you put together was a report based on a New York Times story. I bring that up because much of the news today, because of the changes in the economics of journalism, much of the news today is still based on the original first-hand reporting of newspapers. And so what the Koch brothers, I think, see in the Tribune company is not necessarily a company that can make uh, big profits for Koch Industries unto its Itself. That is to say that the eight newspapers that the Tribune owns are not necessarily profit-making ventures unto themselves, but what the Koch brothers probably see and what Koch Industries sees is a way, a vehicle essentially, an instrument to influence the news from the ground up, from the place where news really happens. So that when, when stories in the Los Angeles Times or in the other papers that the Tribune company owns, if they are skewed originally, both in what they choose to be news and how they report that news, if those are skewed from the get-go, then it stands to reason that television stories, what television reports will be skewed, what radio reports will be, will be skewed, and what even the internet outlets reports will be skewed. So in other words, it, it skews the news. If you can own a newspaper, you can skew the news in a very insidious, almost invisible kind of way. So in a way, they kind of invented this idea of reporting on the reports, and now they want to actually control the reports themselves. Is that basically what you're saying? That's, that's exactly right. That if, you, if, if you think about the news ecosystem, it is, st it is actually more built on newspapers' original reporting than it ever was. And the, 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 idea, the argument about this is, that, well, you know, we've got plenty of news outlets. There's TV, there's the Internet, there's radio. But the issue is, as the, as the Congressional Research Service found, most news is actually built off of, again, a piggybacking, that's the quote, piggybacking off original reporting from newspapers. And that's what the Koch brothers want to buy. So, you know, right there in your back door, uh, you have the Denver Post and publisher Dean Singleton. What's he doing to the news in Denver? Well, we, we've been, a, we've been a, an experiment in this. There used to be newspaper uh, a competition here in this, in this city and in this state. We had the Rocky Mountain News was a large newspaper and the Denver Post was a large newspaper. The Denver Post owned by Dean Singleton. The Rocky Mountain News went out of business and so we are now living in, a, in essentially a newspaper monopoly situation. And Dean Singleton has, has in that position become more of what Campaigns and Elections magazine calls a Republican activist. 5280 magazine, the local, a, a magazine, a monthly magazine here, uh, notes that politicians now need to come in front of Dean Singleton to make sure that he supports their policies or they run the risk of facing negative news coverage in the Denver Post. And the reason I bring up competition is because whereas when you have competition with another newspaper, uh, the, the, uh, the other newspaper has to worry about skewing its story too much and being called out, when you're in a monopoly newspaper situation, as most major cities are today, that means the monopolist, the local citizen Kane, can, can essentially infuse news coverage with that person's politics without fear of ever being called out. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. It really is a case study, clearly, for what the Cokes want to do.